All right, so yesterday I posted a video in regards to eating more and I mentioned about the protein. And then from there, I got tons of questions on the protein. So I wanna just take a minute to clarify that. So I typically, I personally shoot for around 158-ish grams of protein a day based on body weight. And a simple rule of thumb for me is to focus on at least 30 grams per meal. And that gets me usually in the ballpark of where I want to be. And one person had asked, you know, is it you know, one gram of protein versus one gram of, of actual weight of meat? This is something that a lot of people don't necessarily realize, but literally every food is composed of, of different macronutrients based on fat, protein, and carbohydrates. So if it's a higher fat piece of meat, the protein may be lower. Uh, it could be the exact same calories as a chicken breast versus chicken thighs could be the exact same calories, but because chicken thighs are a fattier meat, you may not be getting as much protein from those same chicken thighs ounce for ounce. So it's really important you check that out. So I'm just gonna give you a couple real quick rundowns on ways that I incorporate more protein into my diet and maybe help you out. So for breakfast, a lot of times I'll have protein pancakes, which consists of six egg whites, a half a cup of uh, oats. I usually do a half a cup of cottage cheese, mix everything in, pour it into the pan, voila, you got pancakes. You can top it, I top it with Greek yogurt, fruit. Um, of course I do do egg whites and I mix them in with lots of vegetables. I have no problem with a whole egg, but again, most of the protein's coming from the white. So in order to increase the protein, I eat a lot more egg whites. Uh, for lunches, of course, lunches and dinners are not as stressful. I mean, it's just more or less increasing the size of the protein. So if you're used to eating like two or three ounces of chicken, bumping it up to maybe closer to four ounces is going to get you more of what you need, like in that 30 gram, 35 gram range. Um, I also focus on trying to get three to five ounces, or I'm sorry, four to five ounces of fish. Um, my snacks are usually protein-based desserts. A lot of times I'll make protein-based cheesecakes and things like that. And a lot of that is using Greek yogurts and cottage cheeses. I also make my own ice cream out of these kinds of things. So these are all ways that you can start to increase your proteins. Like a, a cup of cottage, or I'm sorry, fat-free, sugar-free Greek yogurt is like 24 grams of protein. So there's lots of ways you can start to integrate it into your life. You just have to kind of be aware of it. Um, and right now, just see where you are. So if right now you're only eating 60 grams and you've got a lot of weight to lose and your goal weight is say maybe 150 pounds, well, going from 60 to 150 would be a vast difference for you. So try just doing small incremental increases. So instead of eating 60 today and 150 tomorrow, why not focus on going from 60 to 80 to maybe 100 and so on and so forth. So you're kind of working your way up. So these are just some ways that I incorporate more protein. Of course, I use Quest Bars every great once in a while too as fill-ins. I wouldn't say get the bulk of your protein from those or even protein powder, um, but they're good as a way to kind of give you that extra 20 to 25 you might need for a day to polish it off and they taste really good. But the majority of your protein you want coming from lean sources, uh, eggs, you know, fish, chicken, you know, seafood, or um, uh, I use a lot of tuna fish, uh, Greek yogurts, cottage cheeses, all of those things are full of a good amount of protein. They're low in fat, uh, and you will be able to hit your quotas with those. So those are some tips on protein. If you go to MyFitnessPal, you can play around and just see what is going to be the best bang for your buck. You guys have a great day, and thanks for all the questions, and I'm glad the videos have been helpful.